What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to Faith Build 2.0, The Golden God. Now, we have taken full advantage of the newly calculated soft caps for Faith, and this thing is at just ridiculous levels. Uh, the last Faith Build was good. This one blows it out of the water. So let's jump in, talk about the stats, talk about the changes. First up, stats, we are still at 150. Now, Vigor, we've gone all the way up to 60. That is the secondary soft cap for Vigor. That's where you're, you're going to want to go there, to be honest. It's 1,900 health. It's going to be what allows you to survive in this game. Uh, Mind, we have a little bit less than I'd like. We're at 25, but that's okay. Endurance is at 25, and you could certainly drop that lower uh, if you wear weird armor, but I really like this armor for the fashion choice, so I had to bump up endurance a little bit. Uh, moving on over to strength, it is at 17. Dexterity is at 25. Um, and a couple of these stats, I actually have a source seal on. So, so base stats would be Vigor 55, Endurance at 20, Strength at 12, Dex at 20. Intelligence and Arcane are both left at base, and Faith, we go all the way up to 80, which is roughly where the scaling stops. Uh, now, what's interesting is with the last Faith build, of course, I was working with the Gravel Stone Seal. And at 60 Faith, this actually is better. However, going past 60 and you see some insane returns on Erdtree Seal. So we are now rocking the Erdtree Seal, which you can see goes up to a staggering 353. Uh, that's uh, that's either on par or it beats the highest scaling uh, sorcery catalyst. So, oh boy, you can imagine the kind of damage our spells are going to be doing. Uh, our main weapon now, we've also switched up to Sacred Relic Sword. This thing is, it's just awesome. I mean, it has an absolutely fantastic weapon art with Wave of Gold. And we can still use Blasphemous Blade. I mean, yeah, Blasphemous Blade actually has slightly higher AR when we're two-handing. Let me you know, go into this. You can see we're at 718 with this compared to 781 with this. And I still like Blasphemous Blade, but for the whole theme, you know, the the the, the whole theme with the gold and whatnot, this is, this is hard to beat. Look at that. Look at it. Look, it just goes. It just goes and it clears so much. Uh, the other nice thing is now we have like a really solid holy scaling greatsword, and then we still have Blasphemous to have something that's fire scaling. So that's going to do really well. Of course, I recommend a small shield with carry and retaliation just to stop those filthy Moonveil spammers. Now let's talk about the fashion because I really like this look. So we have the navy hood, which mostly is an aesthetic choice because the, the navy blue along with the gold embroidery goes with this armor really, really well. I'm really liking this. Uh, but this actually gives us a free point in mind. So you can see our mines at 24, it goes up to 25 with this. Uh, and this, believe it or not, this is the clean rod armor. This is what it looks like when you alter it and, and take that crap off. So you get rid of that and you actually have just like a really nice, clean, goldish looking set. So we have clean rod, clean rod, and clean rod on. Now, because we were going all the way up to 80 faith and we still wanted to hit, uh, you know, 14 strength and 24 dex to use Sacred Relic Sword, we are pulling a Radigan Sword Seal in. And, you know, I've talked before in the past, I'm hesitant about this because of the damage taken. As you can see, uh, without this, I'm, I'm closer to like 25 to 20 across the board. And with it, I'm like, you know, 10 to 15. Uh, but because of that, we are going to be working in Golden Vow as just a standard go-to with this. With Golden Vow, you can see we're pretty close to what we were pre Radigan Source Seal. So that definitely helps to offset uh, the damage taken to this. Uh, because our stamina is pretty low, we are working with a Green Turtle Talisman. Um, instead, if you don't want to use the Green Turtle Talisman, you could, of course, also go for the Godfrey Icon. Godfrey Icon is going to actually work on quite a few of our spells. So either of those is going to be fine. Um, you know, actually, I think, well, now I'm thinking about it, I'll probably just keep Godfrey Icon on because I'm doing PvE stuff a lot with this. Uh, Radigan Icon, of course, for the faster casts, and then Flox Canvas Talisman. I didn't even know about this before, uh, but having discovered this as I've played more, this is a fantastic choice. It's just a flat boost to all of our incantations, and it's pretty significant. I think it's like between 8 and 10%, so that's definitely a solid damage increase. Uh, going into our spells, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? So, we have our daily driver still with Flame of Frenzy. Flame of Frenzy still, it's, I mean, Flame of Frenzy is, let's be honest, it is... The best damage to FP for a faith build, bar none. Uh, it has insane damage. It has insane stagger. And, you know, it's 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 just nice. I really like this spell. Flame of Frenzy is really good. We're going to use uh, Mr. Doggo over here just to do some quick damage tests and show you the kind of, kind of values we're hitting. So, yeah, Flame of Frenzy. And, it's of course, it's hitting harder than ever before. You know, we charge it on up. You can see... 3,300 damage, and we got an instant stagger with that. Very, very dangerous. 
Uh, Frenzied Burst. This is another one that we can charge. I still love it. It's a snipe. And it's a 2,000 damage snipe on these dogs. Which, that's staggering. Uh, even, even tossing out a quick Frenzied Burst, you know? Let's find a, uh, a sheep or something. Let's get just something. Oh, everything over there is gonna die. Wait, hang on. One, one survived. I saw one sheep. Yeah. 2,000 on a sheep. Like, the damage we're hitting with this is insane. And obviously, keep in mind, the damage is going to vary depending on the target and resistances and whatnot. You know, sheep isn't exactly highly resistant to fire. Uh, but yeah, both of those are, they're hitting very, very hard. And that's going to be in PvE and PvP. Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is our go-to wide-range AoE option. I went back and I tested a lot of the Ancient Dragon stuff because I really wanted to use one. And I found Ancient Dragons to just be one of the best. This has a really good multi-hit nature and fully charged. Look at that. Look at that. Three of those connected for 6,600 damage. That's absolutely insane. And the fast cast on this is pretty good. I mean, it's, it's very random in nature how it's going to go out. And you can see it gives us a wide AoE around us. Uh, but the charge version of this, I mean, if you can get one of these off... It's just going to decimate. It's going to do a ton of damage. And while it, it seems a little bit inconsistent at times, once you get used to it, it's really solid. Uh, of course, Elden Stars. A lot of people aren't sure about Elden Stars. They think it's pointless. I've been having great success with this in PvP. I've also been comboing it with Pest Threads. So to show how this works, we're just going to use, use this guy. Uh, but you're going to toss out your Elden Stars. Get that on out. And then you swap to the Pest Threads. And so while they're dodging all that bullshit, then the pest threads are also chasing them down. And of course, you can see Elden Stars, when that final part connects, when that goes off, which is going to be in just a second here, you know, it's like an extra 1200 damage. Pest threads, one of the best tracking spells in the game. Uh, I have seen people roll all over the place, and pest threads is still going to hit them. This thing is really good, which, which by the way, both pest threads and Phlox Canvas Talisman, those come from... Uh, Godfrey, I think his name is, or, or Gowry, Gowry, it's the guy involved in uh, Millicent's questline, so, yeah, those things, they are obnoxious, now the range isn't that long on them, you can see right there, just barely front running short of that, so keep that in mind, you're gonna be, need to be somewhat close with them, but look at that, look at that curve in on those, that is so good, um, of course, we have Lightning Spear. Lightning Spear is another one of our daily drivers with this build. That's looking good. On average, we're going to hit... Well, that, that's definitely inflated. Uh, a Charged Lightning Spear. Um, for the most part, your Charged Spears are going to hit over 1,000. Your Uncharged are going to hit around 700, so that's looking good. And then, of course, we have Wrath of Gold. You can't go wrong with this. It's really fast to come out. It's going to do really good damage, especially people that are trying to rush you down in PvP. That's going to catch them. And then the fully charged version, of course, is just massive. Massive AoE. Massive damage potential. Let's go do one against the dog. We've been, you know, doing all of other damage tests. To be honest, I don't know what the, the resistances are on these dogs, but they definitely take a lot of damage from certain things. So this is one of the few spells that I trust to just run in and get it off fast. Look at that. That was an instant cast for 1,400 damage. And the charge did almost 2,000 on the dog. Please don't beat me, I'm showcasing things. But so that is our new spell loadout. Um, you know, just to go through some of the main things, obviously our, our primary damage in boss fights, especially if you're concerned with FP, is going to be Flame of Frenzy. Frenzy Burst is going to be our nuke option. Ancient Dragons is when we really need AoE. Or it's a good boss damage because of the multi-hits. Elden Stars is mainly for PvP. Pest Threads also for PvP and the chase down. Lightning Spear is just a solid go-to damage option. Uh, Wrath of Gold for a quicker AoE, and then Golden Vow to cancel out some of the negatives from having our Source Seal. So all in all, I feel it is a, a pretty well-varied spell loadout on this. Um, one thing I want to point out real fast is, along with Elden Stars, one thing we're seeing a lot. Somebody did it as like a joke on the Reddit, and uh, we're seeing this a lot. People are, are they're casting Black Flame Ritual. I'll just I'll show you real fast. It's kind of, I mean, it works, but it's funny, but it's definitely going around. So just be aware when you see this. You're going to see Black Flame Ritual, and then they're going to go and they're going to go into Elden Stars. And you can see the Black Flame will protect you until you get the Elden Stars out. So if you're really concerned about doing Elden Stars, it's a decent bet. Uh, it'll work against melee, but the way it is now, the second I see Black Flame Ritual, I'm like, oh, Elden Stars. And I'm just charging up a Lightning Spear. 
uh, to, to chuck and hit you in the face, you know, that's just, that's how it's gonna be. But yeah, actually, I went through all of these and I tried them out, and, you know, Ancient Dragon's Lightning just seems to be the best. I really like 4-6 to six Lightning Spear, but it just takes too damn long to get out. Same with the Glaive, uh, and the single Lightning Spear is alright, but this is cheaper and has multi-hit potential, so... All in all, Ancient Dragon's Lightning, if you want a Lightning Spell, that, and then your basic Lightning Spear are gonna be go. Uh, Hone Bolt, I'm still, I'm just not sold on Hone Bolt, man. Like, just to, to show the, the damage of it. I, I've seen some people say that they like it, but, and one, the range on it is kind of deceptive. Because, you know, right there, I'm like, oh, is that gonna hit? And it just, it didn't. And you can see it's 1500, it's not bad, but, quick cast of it. Quick cast is 1100 and that to me that feels like a pretty long cast i feel like that takes longer than lightning spear so if you really want to mix it up um you know because you have this as a projectile so you could use this just to have something coming down from above but personally i like lightning spear a lot i think lightning spear is is going to get you more bang for your buck in general um, but, you know, it's it's a consideration. At these higher levels of faith, the damage can, can certainly be there on it. But the cast time on it just really, I don't know, it leaves something to be desired. Compared to Lightning Spear, which is just boom, boom. That's really fast. And that's that's what I want with, like, a quick a quick faith incantation. So, uh, either way, that's going to be it for the overview. Um, now, this build, you can certainly use this in duels. You can certainly use it in invasions. But this is very much like a, a co-op oriented build. You know, we have Golden Vow, we have some good nukes, we have a couple support-ish type spells in PvP, uh, things like the Chase Down, of course, with with Elden Stars and Pest Threats. So instead of going around and trying to do invasions, um, I'm just gonna show you all a bunch of footage. I was just running around playing with Tox, we were having a good time, and this build just basically clapped every invader that came in. So I'm gonna throw that in for the PvP montage part of things. This guy's bubble yet? No, his bubble's gone. It's gone on my screen at least. Yeah, it wasn't on mine. Range flame of frenzy. Let's see how that works out for you. Yes, yeah, spam the parry dagger. That is excellent. <laughs> Ancient dragon lightning. Oh, and you're dead. Ooh, and that's a non-leveled vigor boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should have leveled your vigor. Oop. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Can I get up here? I can! I will protect you from above with my spears of lightning and threads. See, that's what I like so much about this. This is such a good, like, just support build. Ooh, a thousand on that! And pest threads! Chase him down! Ooh. I don't know if that was the pest threads or the sling, but dead. Uh, I think it was the pest threads. My sling only does about 150. I think it's just AFK. <laughs> nope, no, nope, maybe not. Who's there? You gonna do your buffs or anything? I guess not. Alright, well, let's see. Oh. He did. 600 health. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he thought he was doing coming in with the uh, 600 health. Uh, yeah, Elden Stars said no. Yeah. And we we got invaded. I'm not seeing invader yeah. though. He's right over here. Oh, along the cliffs. I don't know what he was doing. He just walked up and slapped him with a wrath of gold in the face. Oop. Maybe you want to stop with the millennia. 
Or just die. That's fine too. You can, <laughs> that's, that's another option. You can die. <laughs> I choose die. <laughs> That's so funny, you see people like, oh, you're queuing up a weapon art that lasts like 10 seconds? Okay, mm -hmm. let me... I'm just back gonna, up and snipe. I'm just gonna do this. No, oh, we got invaded by the same dude again. Wrath the Gold Boy. <laughs> oh, let's let's try and get him to come over here on the cliff. I'll see if I can blast him off. Here he is. You're a nice wrath of gold kill, bro. I didn't even need to, dude. He took himself out. It was a, uh, it was a zoning kill. Yeah, see, it was, it was a threat. He, he was like, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. god, wrath of gold. He didn't know what to do. He, he weighed his options. And he, he decided <laughs> death was the smarter. So, blasphemous blade. Oh no, tox. I, uh, I forgot that they were barrels. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, I avenged you. I, I avenged you at the very end. One way to do with that. That's most of them. Oh god, we have one of these. Oh, I'm sorry. You couldn't. You couldn't abuse an exploit and win. Oh no. Oh, have you tried getting good? Oh, poor trash can die. Tank it and press the I win button. <laughs> Is that not staggering? <laughs> oh, you silly fucking invader. Yes, quick step through my pest threats. Oh, or not. <laughs> the tracking oh, on those is so work. good. Aw, damn it, I'm so there. That was free flasks right there. Let's see, full meat charge, nitrogen dragons, lightning! It whiffed. It whiffed. Oh, that one hit. 3,000 on him. Oh, that one was juicy. <laughs> Shut up, Godric. <laughs> and here comes the next one. And he's staggered. And he's dead. Threads. And with that, we are going to wrap things up. Uh, so coming next, I have two more builds on deck already, actually. The status build is ready to go, and the hybrid caster, utilizing both Int and Faith, is also ready to go. Um, we're still working on a spell sword build. Uh, the last thing I want to mention is the Arcane build has been updated, but I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, I'm really liking how it is right now, and it's, it's a couple minor things. I basically use double twin blades. Uh, but I really want to wait until they've patched arcane scaling weapons and mess around with those before I upload a new arcane build. So unfortunately, I'm going to kind of keep that one on the back burner for now. But the new faith build is it's it's spicy. So either way, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you all next time.